Your teacher today is Dr. Bosa, science. Dr. Bosa is a teacher at the Science Foundation College, the best school that teaches sciences. Today, 4th January 2021, we are going to study behaviors. Our website is digitalteachers.co. Dot yugi. Here find notes, exams and their marking guides in the physics, chemistry, biology, math and the primary subjects. Or visit our YouTube channel, Digital Teachers Uganda. When you go YouTube website, where there is search, type in Digital Teachers Uganda, it will be given related videos in the physics, chemistry, biology, math, and primary subjects. Please subscribe to promote my videos. Subscription is free. The best secondary school in Uganda is the Science Foundation College. The best primary school in Uganda is local of ages primary school. Behaviors are responses to stimuli. Animals that respond appropriately to stimuli are more likely to succeed and reproduce. And pass on their successful traits to the next generation. Development of behaviors. Behaviors are instinctive and learned. Instincts are genetically determined and passed on from generation to generation through evolution. For example, swimming in a fish. Instincts are common to all members of species, although these are modified on exposure to environmental stresses and practice. For example, some fish can swim more effectively than others depending on practice. Instincts. Instinctive behaviors are innate or inborn. Stereotyped responses to one or more environmental stimuli by a given species. Characteristics of instincts. They are inherited, not acquired. They are usually immediate, adaptive to, to the organism. They are produced unconsciously in response to stimuli. They are identical to all members in a given species. For example, all fish swim. Examples of instincts. One, reflex behavior is a simple act of behavior in which a stimulus produces a specific short-lived response such as withdrawing the arm from a hot object, escape response of earthworm, i.e. when hit an obstacle, earthworm quickly withdraws into bar. Ecological significance of reflex behavior. Help the organism to escape predator. Minimize damage from dangerous objects such as hot object. Need jack help in the balance. Then four reduces energy to escape danger because it does not have to involve the brain. It involves only the spinal cord. You touch something, you remove unconsciously. Example two, kinesis. It is a behavior in which an animal changes the level of activity depending on the intensity of the stimulus. For example, wood rice move restlessly in a dry than damp condition so that by chance 
it can find a damp area. Another example is an animal. When it is hungry, it will just move randomly. By chance, it may find food. It doesn't move in the direction where the food is. Just move randomly, looking around. By chance, it finds food. When an animal is satisfied, it removes less to be contented. Ecological significance of kinesis, it increases the chance of finding resources. For example, when you are bored, you just find yourself moving about, not looking for anything. By chance, you find a resource. Sign stimulus is a stimulus that produces a selective stereotyped response. For example, two eyes constitute a sign stimulus that cause babies to smile. Two, the red spot on a hiring girl beak is a sign stimulus to direct its cheek to peck at its beak to receive food. Three, swollen abdomen of stickleback is a sign stimulus to attract male stickleback's. In man, the breasts and the buttocks can be sign stimulus to attract the males. Learning the behaviors. Learning is a more or less permanent change in the behavior which occurs as a result of experience. In general, animals with big brains learn more easily than those with small brains. Types of learning. One, habituation, is a reduced response to a repeated stimulus which is associated with neither benefit or reward. For example, birds soon ignore a scarecrow. Two, reduced tingling sensation of a coarse sweater on the body. Reduced distraction from noise. When you enter a class which is too noisy, after some time you get used to the noise. People who are living around decaying objects soon get used to that bad smell by habituation. Significance of habituation enables a young animal to learn neutral stimuli in its environment. Two, enables animals to save energy by not responding. Three, it eliminates unnecessary responses. Two, associative learning or conditioning. This is any learning process in which a new behavior becomes associated with a particular stimulus. It is classified as classical conditioning or operant conditioning. A classical conditioning is a process by which a naturally occurring stimulus is paired with a stimulus in the environment. The environmental stimulus eventually elicits the same response as the natural stimulus. For example, salivation occurs when a bell for lunch is rung at school because every time we ring the bell at school, we serve lunch. So ringing the bell will elicit the same stimulus as food, that is salivation. Two, feeling hunger in response to smell of food. B, operant conditioning or trial and error learning. This is a type of learning where a behavior is controlled by consequences, i.e. reward or 
punishment. For example, children avoid hot objects. We do not steal for fear of being beaten. We strive to be smart to attract good comments. Employees work hard to get incentives and promotion is feeling latent learning. Here an animal learns about something unintentionally, but the knowledge becomes useful at a time when it is necessary. For example, knowledge of the location of a hospital enables a person to get early treatment. Importance of latent learning helps in learning through observation from parents. For insight learning, it occurs when an animal solves a familiar problem by assessing the situation and arriving at a solution. The bit of an animal to solve a familiar problem is called intelligence. Number five, imprinting, is a form of learning where chicks, ducklings, gooselings follow the fast moving object they see after hatching, taking it to be their mother. Importance of imprinting enable younger animals to recognize their mother and relatives. Two, enables younger animals to get food from their parents. Six, displacement activity is an inappropriate behavior to stimulus by an animal in a state of internal conflict. For example, biting one of the lips when asked a question, fearing to give wrong answers, and also fearing to be beaten for not giving an answer. Or unnatural running of hands over the heads as if there is an answer. Or looking up in the ceiling as if there is an answer. All of those are inappropriate behavior because the right behavior would be to give the right answer. Importance of displacement activity. It is a way of releasing stress. Courtship behavior is a complex behavior pattern designed to stimulate an organism into sexual activity. It involves pair formation of members of opposite sex. Function is of courtship behavior. Enables animal to select opposite sex to mate with. Two, tighten is bond between mating pair. Three, enables both male and female to look after offsprings. Four, synchronizes the gonads of the mating pair to mature at the same time. Five, enables mating to occur when both the male and the female are ready. Territorial behavior. A territory is a more or less exclusive area defended by an individual or group of individuals. Function is of a territory. Allows exclusive access to food and mates. Limits mating of unfit individuals. Allows group protection. Provides breeding space. Allows sharing of resources by members of the territory. These are advantages of a territory. Weak animals are denied sex. Limits population density. Promotes spreading of diseases, especially venereal 
diseases leads to extinction in the case of disaster. Thank you so much for listening to this video. Our website is digitalteachers.co.ug. Here find notes, exams, and their marking guides in physics, chemistry, biology, and math. Or visit our YouTube channel, Digital Teachers Uganda, for related videos in physics, chemistry, biology, math, and primary subjects. Please subscribe to promote my videos. Subscription is free. The best secondary school in Uganda is the Science Foundation College. The best primary school in Uganda is Lock of Ages Primary School.